And here we are, guys. Welcome back to the Ultimate Pool USA Arena. We are live for the Kansas City Shootout in Kansas City, Missouri. Blue Springs Side Pockets. This is the match that I personally have been waiting for. I do have a very special guest here with me. It is Mr. Del Sim once again. Del, how are you doing? Yep, sort of recuperating. Uh, <laughs> back, back to where I think I'm best. Uh, back in the booth, sat down with you. <laughs> well, you had a very tough match in Justin Bergman, and uh, he's going to move on against you, but he's going to run into a very tough match in Sam Henderson. So that's going to be our last uh, quarterfinal of the, of the night. That's going to be a fun one, but we have another quarterfinal here that is an absolute banger. Tyler Steyer and Ricky Evans. Ricky really coming out extremely hot against the safe cracker Shane Thompson and sending Shane to an early demise but like once again got his hands full with Tyler Steyer Tyler is Tyler's on the top of everything you see for a reason and it's it's because he plays so very very well and it, I'm anxious to see how this match goes overall well, you know what they say, winning begets winning. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's in great form recently. You know, I feel like he's really found his rhythm, found his role. Um, and this will be no different. He'll want to snap this one off just as much as anyone else. Absolutely. And, and, and for the same for Ricky Evans. Ricky Evans not been in the spotlight a whole lot. He kind of stays where he is. But right here, an opportunity to jump out in the limelight yeah, he's really focused in his chair there, and I was very impressed with his last match. Uh, I saw you talking there um, out, out front, and, you know, big credit to what he's done and, and plaudits for, for coming out, firing the way that he did. Um, you know, deserves everything he's got from him. Well, 100%. I, I, when, it, when he passed by me a little while ago, I said, I just want you to know I enjoyed your match. I didn't really know your name before this, but I do now. Yeah, and, nice. and, and that's just a compliment to him as, as a player um, because I wasn't familiar with him. And I very much so am now because he really did put on a clinic. Yeah, much tougher opponent now, I think, in, in Tyler Steyer. Um, not to say Shane wasn't, but I think on the American pool table, um, you know, getting the scalp in, in Tyler will be, will be a huge achievement. And you see you're just ripping the ball there. That's a very interesting shot indeed. I mean, doesn't mind putting a bit of gear on the ball. And I think he knows because this table is new cloth and he can rip it. This is probably the conditions that Tyler is going to just flourish in overall. So be interesting to see if he can slow roll this one. I think uh, the 14 does go in, in the opposite corner. Or does it? Or does he have to come back across? I think the he's going to go across and shoot it up table. I can't really tell. Well, he seems to think it goes. And that was my, that was my concern there by slow rolling it. Is he, yeah, he's still maintaining the angle, that's fine. I thought maybe if he was going to shoot that shot, he would just kind of stun it over to the rail, keep it straight. Yeah, the good thing here is that the eight ball goes by the two, so he can just stun above it. It doesn't need to be too crazy. I'd be worried with the angle, he's going to run into the eight. So he's going to have to run into it soft, I think. I think he can draw out of it. I think he can just draw above it, hopefully. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he's able to draw just above like it. Just like he called it. Good, good call. He's gone a bit further than he would have wanted, though, I think. Uh, yeah, should, shouldn't be an issue. It goes by the two ball. Yeah. The pockets are playing big because the, the cloth is very, very slick. Yeah, that camera angle into the corner there shows that it's it's uh, it's a full pocket, but it's, it's, it's a little bit tight. Yeah, see, it was a little bit too tight. That's interesting. Oh, that no. Doesn't, that doesn't count, right? Does it count? Uh, no, that is a loss. Eight ball in the wrong pocket. So a gift to Ricky Evans here. Wow. Not sure what happened there with Tyler, but he absolutely blistered that ball. Tough well, Ricky's got, a feeling, got to be feeling great because he did not have a, a very successful break. And a dry one. And Tyler not having a successful break either. The unmistakable sound of dryness. So, realistically, this is very interesting because Ricky, who is probably considered the underdog if you don't count his performance from earlier today, mm -hmm. um, by far is starting off 1-0 ahead and didn't do a thing. Yeah, so he's got to be a confidence builder on top of how well he's already playing today. 
I mean, I, I think the bar box is a huge leveler, honestly. Um, you know, you put these guys on a nine foot, perhaps it's a different, a different style. But I agree with you in, in the sense that he's the underdog, and sometimes it's nice to be the underdog. No expectation, no pressure. Yeah, you just uh, play. You play your game. If you lose, people expected you to. If you win, correct. It's huge, you know. <laughs> You played a funny one there. I mean, I, oh, I agree with it. You shot. know what? I'm I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Tyler absolutely won that frame. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have no I have no idea what I was thinking. I, I had a I had a complete <laughs> mental lapse there. Uh, I apologize. I, I followed your lead on that one. I yeah, mean, I apologize on that one. So, uh, because you do not have to call anything. I um, see. One hundred percent counted in the corner pocket. Well, I apologize then. So no, and, and I was going to ask the question: If you're not nominating the pocket, then it should count. But okay, that's a, that's an interesting rule. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to call. The only thing you have to call is your opening shot, whether you're calling solids or stripes. After oh, okay. that, no calls on anything. That's right, Steve. That's no, no, no. It's okay. I, I heard you say that, and I was like, oh, well, there it is. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Let's let's flip flop from this. Ricky <laughs> with the dry break cost him the first rack, oh, wow. and now he's uh, needing to come back on that. Yeah, I see up on the school board now. Um, wow, what a shot that is! That is a fantastic shot from there, and he's really opened up the rack. And he may have to come down for the one. The good news is that it's uh, it's nice and wide open. And we'll see what he see what he prefers. He can just draw this straight back at the six. Um, I like that, you know, even if he draws beyond. I don't like coming into traffic with, with a high ball. Um, but again, we'll, we'll, we'll see what he prefers. He might go to the side and back out. Yeah, he just came around and just played the space, which was a very confident shot, but I didn't like getting a little bit close to my work there. Yeah, there was an opportunity for that to go wrong. But very nicely done. And like we said, Steve, he's still nice and in control here. You know, I haven't seen him make any anything any erratic decisions. Yeah, so just going back on this now, so we're really looking at a one-to-one -one frame very quickly. And just simply dry breaks is the only catch. So, uh, and Ricky's going to be breaking this rack. So, if if uh, he's able to make a ball in the break. He's just going to spin it around and, and hold control if he can run that rack out. So, again, one-to-one -one on the score. Ricky here needs a ball down. It's the only mistake that we've seen, really, is simply the dry break. Yeah, very nice. Good control on the break again. The eight ball's been a little bit tied up. That might force his hand in terms of what, what, what um, selection he goes for. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I really, I mean, you have to like the, the stripes here, but the solids promote the eight ball shot. So it makes it a tough decision here. Yeah, I like the four first. I like the four and then try and drift down uh, for the seven. Um, you know, three balls also there as well. May, may elect the, the six and, and try and get down towards that ten ball. Yeah, he tried to bump it straight away, and that's a really nice shot. I think this goes underneath as well. It definitely, definitely can uh, go into the rail first. I, I don't know if the tin's high enough up to push it to inside the pocket, but I think it could at least block it. Yeah, you may be able to squeeze it. Depends how, uh, how frisky he's feeling. I think it's the right shot, honestly. Yeah, well, the, the thing about this match in particular is you're playing Tyler Steyer, so you need to be... Uh, for sure of what your plan is. You never want to go in just swinging. And it looks like Ricky's got his plan now. You know, he's going to go off the 10 ball. What a shot. I like that play. I like coming underneath the, uh, the 13. Uh, a few players might have uh, tried to hold that for the three in the opposite corner, but he was, uh, he was brave in the selection. Now, if he, can get, if he can just get up to where the 12 is, you know, if he can get up to where the 12 is, or he might... He needs to play that, that 5-2 combo to make this uh, a, a guarantee. So anywhere in line with the 12, oh, he's going he's gonna to adopt to come around it instead. You think he's just going to uh, punch out and, and move these balls? I don't think there's a need to move. I don't think there's a need to move. And he's looking at the Z pattern now. You can kind of see it. 
Um, That's kind of the way I feel about it as well. So I, I think you may be right. The only thing, the only thing I'm concerned with there, and not not playing it first off, would be he didn't get perfect. You know, you need to get perfect on this ball. And if you don't get perfect, you won't have a shot. And in eight ball, you kind of want to leave yourself an option. So I wonder, can he? Has he just finished absolutely plumb? And again, you know, can he stun it? You know, you want to kind of, you want to try and get out of this this hole if you can you don't want to leave it stop dead he's done that with a nice really nice draw shot and look at the eight ball he's pushed that very nicely yeah that's more and more and more just absolute good play by ricky evans yeah, where think, has this kid been i think he's got enough angle that he can actually go forward and to the right um if he doesn't want to draw down into traffic I think if he goes forward with a high right, he can get across the other side of the table here. Yeah, just like that. Avoid the scratch. Avoid the scratch. <laughs> oh, wow. He just wanted to be on that side of the table, and that's a, a you know, very nice shot. A little bit fortunate, some might say, but you, you play those risks. And there we go. And there's a break and run. It wasn't without its trials and tribulations, but he definitely made it work. Tyler, of course, our runner-up for the Louisiana Open main event Open Championship against Chris Melling. Lost a uh, nail-biter of a match there. Tyler here just not getting a good break at all. And I'm not sure what he's changed because I feel like he broke pretty well in his first match. If there was one thing that, for me, would be synonymous with, with Tyler Steyer, it would simply be the break. You know, he has a fantastic break shot, and he's really not really not showing it. Um, between him and SVB, I think they're very similar in their kind of approach. You know, he, so I'm surprised he's not figured it. Yeah, and, you know, he broke well in Louisiana. Maybe the different table is messing with him a little bit. Maybe the, yeah. the tighter pockets is... The, the slick felt. I mean, we had slick felt then as well, so I'm not really sure what the cause is, but he's definitely having trouble with the break, which is something he generally excels at. Yeah, not being able to practice, but you, you figure he should have found his spot by now. Um, you know, having been out there, it took me two or three moves. I had to move the ball two or three times until I was comfortable with the break. And then once you find your spot, you really should drill into it. And we did talk about that a little bit against you. Bergman moved his break. Mm -hmm. Several times he started with the cut, mm -hmm. moved to the head-on, and didn't have great success a couple of times as far as the spread goes. But yeah. once he found making the ball, he kind of stuck with it. It matters. So that's what you definitely need to have to do. Just find where you're making a ball and stick with it. Yeah, I fully agree on that one. Yeah, that a really good point to make. And I thought that, that 14 had gone a little bit funny. But it, it still goes. It still goes if he finishes the right side of it. I do think you want to make that 14 before you're on the A ball. Yeah, I agree. Very important to get that ball down because you don't want to have to try and throw that with inside to hold it because it, it definitely promotes missing the ball. Yeah, I wonder if he can play a little stop shot here. Doesn't want to move the cue ball too far forward. I think he could probably just roll up. Just roll up on the on the shot on the side. He doesn't have to do too much. Yeah, where, where the 11 is. Yeah, right yeah, up. perfect. I mean, that's as good as he can get right there. And now he has the ability to play this ball with a decent speed, a little bit of inside, and he'll have the 15 straight in. Yeah, you guys love your inside. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, would, I would just play this plain ball, honestly. Well, the only thing, the, the only reason I like the inside, and I see now that he didn't need it, is I just don't yeah. want to risk hitting that one ball. Yeah. You hit the one ball, it's a disaster. Yeah, I agree on that one. But, again, he's playing great. I'm not. He didn't need the inside, so. Super solid. Look, <laughs> look how solid he is. I mean, he's just, he's just running. He's also very in tune with the rules. He's watching for the all-ball foul. He doesn't want his shirt to touch the ball. Yeah. No, I want great. to see more of Ricky Evans. And we're going to, if he continues like this, 3-1 up on Tyler Steyer. And Tyler here needing a dry break from Ricky. Not going to get it here. Eight ball moving towards the pocket. Is that his nickname? Rock and roll Ricky. Is it? <laughs> I don't 
don't know. <laughs> That'd be a funny one. Someone in the comments said it. Rock and roll Ricky. If it's not, then it should be. Well, I'm unsure on that one, but I do know that he is rocking and rolling. He's got a really tough play here. Yeah, this is a very, very hard break. Um, oh, sorry, hard layout after the break. I'm wondering if he's just going to play safe and leave it exactly where he is. And the time clock running, able to play a good safety. We're almost halfway through this match. The time clock is sitting right above 15 minutes. I think Tyler's just going to do the exact same thing. You know, play the, uh, play the cue ball back to where it is now. Trying not to disturb the two ball. And now he has the time to do it now, but the question is, if this were to continue for the next three or four minutes, yeah. does he have the time available to continue doing this, getting in these situations, being down 3-1? We haven't seen this a lot. We haven't seen a, a, a kind of a touchy game. Um, I, I, was, I was surprised he didn't go in behind the eight there. He had the, he had the angle to, to screw in behind the eight um, and, and really make it difficult for Ricky. I think maybe he was just going for the simple as more approach. Sure. This goes off the six, though, and, and that's, I might even go clean. Yeah, and I, I think if you hit it correctly, it promotes a two-way shot as well. Yeah, he play. went all out. Yeah. So Tyler here has an opportunity now to put the brakes on Ricky. First shot he's missed. It's the first one I think he slashed at. You know, yeah. He kind of slashed at it a bit, um, and I mean that with the utmost respect. But um, And there you see him. He kind of put his hand up to his head and tapped on his forehead there that's saying that I should have thought about that a little bit more I need, I need to think more I think it went clean honestly if he was playing off the six then it would have uh, it probably would have gone it's either going to disturb his five just pop it out yeah that's really good there yeah I don't see a problem now on, on solids uh, all about how he takes them from here I like the one like the one first. You know, yeah. might, might have to come up and down a little bit. I think you can play the one and just play it nice and easy and pull shape for the five. Yeah, I agree. I think you do need to take the five two out as quickly as possible. Yeah. But the table is quick, so he did get a, a little bit of an angle here. My thought process is simply that you have to find a good shot for the two ball. And you don't necessarily have to do it now, but yeah, I don't you don't want to be trying to get shape on the two right before the eight ball. No, I don't mind leaving this as my key. You can see him just playing straight left. You know, four ball next. That opens up the, uh, the six. I'd be a little worried about trying to get back up there and have a good shot on the eight ball, but if Tyler's comfortable with it, it may be the way to go. Yeah, just drop this one in um, and leave the angle to come around the back of the nine. Oh, that would be my play. The other option he's got is just to drop it in and play um, as he is doing here. Uh, just to come above it because he's got the Z shot into the uh, into the two. Two's definitely going to be the key. Unless he plays it now. I mean, he could come up for the two now and take uh, take the six last. But those, those are his two options. I like taking the two now simply because if you don't get the shape you need, you have another shot at it. Yeah, and the, you know the six connects nicely. I think that's the reason that he's gone up there as well. Um, needs a bit of angle. I don't want to be straight. He's got a little bit. I think he can just play up and come in, in between the 13-8. Yeah, he certainly can. Yeah, just don't leave yourself hampered on the eight. Come off the rail a little, a little, just a touch. He doesn't want to be queuing over the 15, that's for sure. Yeah, see, hampered. A little bit hampered. You don't really want to queue over the eight, but yeah, you, you were right. You don't want to be on that side of it. You really would have preferred to be in the middle, but you could kind of punch that ball. Yeah, you could punch that a bit harder. You know, just make you know anywhere, anywhere towards the bottom of the rail there. That's fine. This one just makes it. You got to queue it nice. Yeah, very nicely played. Good hit. And again, you'd expect that from someone of, of Tyler's caliber. You know, striking down on the ball. And those are the ones that you'll be practicing on the on the, uh, on the drill table. And then Tyler really making a little bit of a comeback there. The first big mistake we've seen from R Ricky Evans kind of slashed at that that combination that cannon uh, off the ball. Looks like he's going to the second ball. And he hasn't been making much, so 
is changing it up. Oh, wow, he, uh, he got a real cut on that as well. And again, not, not a good contact, which caused the cue ball to fly around the angle there. You notice the, the eight ball there, using that cut break, generally the eight ball comes to the to one side or the other. That eight ball went straight up the middle, which tells me he didn't get a good contact with where he wanted to hit the ball. You saw there on the replay, that was a, that was a tough one. Ricky, great opportunity here. Just got one bad ball uh, that he's going to have to manage in the 15. And he went for it. He went for it straight out of the gate. And he's a little bit rattled, mate. I mean, I, I know he said that, but he's a little bit rattled. You, you know what I just... So just right there, and I understand it's the first shot of the rack, but in the very first match we saw with Ricky, he was very, very aware yeah. of the time mm -hmm. and if he heard the beeps he called his extension mm -hmm. and it, one of the only ones that we saw call the extension like that or, you know in the first round and he let the beeps run down almost to a time foul right there Ooh. <laughs> sorry I cut you oh off. wow what a what a play that is and he's left these wide open and now see now Dell I think we're getting to the point of the day where there's enough people in here. I think the table is starting to play a little tougher. A bit stickier, right? Yeah, a little stickier, a little hotter in the room. I think we're going to start seeing a few more mistakes. Yeah, that's, not, that's not the best opening shot that he could have played. Um, the reason being is he would have loved to swing around for that six early on. Yeah, we're, in, we're now underneath the 10-minute mark. So just a 15 second shot clock with a 15 second extension for both players. And this is close. This has the potential. I don't want to talk about it too soon, but this has the potential to, to be very, very close come Ooh. the end of the match. Ooh. And again, huge miss and Ricky showing frustration there. Yeah. Very unhappy with that shot. Yeah, and in this format, you don't get a timeout, so there's no way that he can reset, and you can see that he's upset with himself. Um, I wonder if he was just starting to creep into his mind about, you know, being three and four ahead. You know, rather than three and three to two, it, it yeah. could very well be, you know, four to one. And I say that because, you know, you really, it really is one one match, at, one game at a time in that regard. And if you get too far ahead of yourself, you can start these little mistakes to creep in. And, and Tyler's now perfect. And he's going to tie this match up. So oh, something... Oh my. Oh my, they're not that big. Oh, oh. maybe they are. Oh, perfect speed. That was... That was touchy. <laughs> but he, he didn't need to play it that soft either. That's the weird thing. Something that uh, I learned a long time ago <laughs> is that my reaction as a player <laughs> can give my opponent free confidence. Oh, yeah. So maybe, uh, maybe Ricky's... You know, being a little upset, showing his frustration, maybe that's the confidence that Tyler needed to, to really kick it into gear. You know, Tyler Steyer doesn't really need confidence. But when you're in a situation like this, every little bit helps. Yeah, it's also, I'm not used to seeing him hit the ball so softly all the time. <laughs> I, think, I think Tyler takes more of almost like a UK approach yeah. on eight ball on the small table. It's more of a... Yeah. a you know, tap, tap, tap. You don't want to move the cue ball very much. You, you know, there's a lot of traffic in a ball on a small table. And, you know, realistically, anybody can win or yeah. anybody can get a break and run in a situation like this. So it's interesting to see how this all plays out. This was one of the matches that I was very excited about. Mm -hmm. And Tyler here looking to tie it up three to three, just needs to make the eight ball. Anywhere is good. He's not, he's not showing it, but that was a not the best shot. I, he really wanted to be straight on this eight, and he's uh, up against the clock as well. Three, two, one. Great shot. And the quarry left. Yeah, keyboard. that was a really good run out there by Tyler. Uh, not the, not the most sturdy of run outs, but a run out nonetheless. Midwest is really known for its humidity, so I think it's definitely having. Um, an effect even though you know the air conditioning is going on and off in the room as well yeah and it's been comfortable in here most of the day there's a lot of people in here and i gotta yeah. say bill here at, at uh side pocket blue springs 
he has managed uh, the amount of people, the extra, uh, the, the arena being in here. He's managed it very, very well. They run a, a nice tight ship around here. Just take it down. There we go, nice and smooth. And again, he's starting to... Uh, oh, nice. did you see the timing there? The timing was incredibly quick. Yeah. I think frustration is definitely setting in on top of the, the tables being just a little tough. Yeah, I was just kind of listening there. This this is going to be a big rack now. Yeah, you know, I feel I feel whoever gets this rack is going to take the match. With uh, with how it's currently laid out, you know, it's not quite to the point where Tyler can work the clock because we're just barely under the six minute mark. But if he were to win this rack and bring the time down to let's say three minutes, it's a great shot that he's looking at right now. He's looking to make the 15 and uh, hold the 13 right there. Would have liked to been off the rail to be able to control. That's we why you see him 13, dragging down. 6, 4, 15? Yeah. You see him strike down. Oh, there. wow. What a shot that was. Really opened up the rack and a little bit unfortunate not to have a shot. I don't think he can get through to the 12 and we see this on the camera angle from the corner pocket here. I wonder how, how thin that, that rail is. Yeah, and he played the played the one pocket shot. <laughs> I tell you what, guys, these guys are really flying at everything right now. And the, 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 the role in the match is going really back and forth. Yeah. So, guys, go ahead and uh, just scoot forward on your seat just a little bit because it is edge of your seat oh. time. <laughs> we it. are under five minutes. It is three to three. So, likely how this rack ends and how the next one begins is going to tell the entire story of who wins this match. Ricky has played great the first couple racks. He he had some issues recently. He needs to bring that back. Tyler, while looking a little, not necessarily unsteady, but just little itty bitty tiny mistakes that have cost him a few racks or a few rolls at least. Another six inches and he'd have had the three there. That's really what he wanted. And he needs to try and find a gap soon off, off either of these two balls. Oh, that's it. And that's really unfortunate. You see him attacking it, being very aggressive. He overruled it, but can he, can he play the three and come in between the 14-9 and go and do kind of a Z-shot? I think he can, you know. I think he can. Yeah, I mean... Don't know oh, how close fortunate he's with the six ball. Oh, look at that. No, he's not got the angle. I don't he's going to have to kick this ball. I mean, I, if it's me, I'm kicking it. Hard. Yeah. Fire it at a hundred miles an hour. Well, actually, if you get the second rail, this is coming down. Oh, look at this shot! Oh, he's so unlucky. Give him something. He's got something. He's got what the eight. A kick. He's got the eight. Can you believe this? I think he's got a thin, thin slither on the eight. If he makes this ball, this will be a, a phenomenal just, out. It's just sticking out enough. Oh, he made it! Oh my Watch God, out, cue ball! Oh, and the wow. fist pump Sorry by Ricky Evans. No, this is exciting wow. right here. That whole rack was incredible. Ricky Evans taking a one rack lead with just three minutes and 14 seconds left in this match. I think we're going to see a lot of frustration in this. Control the cue ball. Yeah. Oh no, scratch. Control the cue ball. Uh oh, and now. He yeah, can this. control this. He can control the time. Well, there's three minutes, you know. I don't think I don't think uh, with 15 seconds there's enough there's enough time left for him to really run the clock out. Yeah, but if he just takes it 15 at a time, Tyler might not be able to come to the table with yeah. enough time to finish it out. Yeah, and I have to say this this this, uh, this finish is on. Um, he just needs to take his time. Yeah. Interesting decision there. I guess leaving the five. Wanted to, wanted to come down for the six-one earliest opportunity. I don't, I don't blame him for that. And again, this is to go too clear. I think all he's doing in his mind right now is saying, "Just get out." And we're getting to the point of. This is going to be very tough for Tyler to come back from. 
Now it is all dependent on this shot. A little bit fortunate. I, I personally, I just roll forward. I like the five, then the three, but the way that he's looking, I don't think he minds leaving the cue ball where it is now would be absolutely perfect. Unless that, unless that eight ball goes beyond the nine, I don't think it does. I think it, I think it may go honestly. Oh man, he's under hit that. Yeah, he's gonna have to go back and forth a little bit with how hard he's gonna have to hit this ball. Yeah. I, I like the angle. I think the, the table's playing quick enough that he can just play this one, maybe two rails. Yeah, he, he really pumped it. He's gonna go back and forth three times. Yeah, that's a great shot there. And we're, we're almost to the point of no return. One minute and 20 seconds left. Ricky Evans Again, up uh, five to three. I, 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 barring a golden break and a golden duck being in play, yeah, I'm not sure Tyler can come back from this. If people didn't know his name before now, they do. Yeah, definitely. Again, he's still a little bit of luck on the break, and Tyler's going to jump out of his chair. And Tyler's capable of, of running these in very in, in next to no time. And I agree with you, but you know it's it's super testy. He's he can't make a mistake. He's got to go quickly. He's already made two balls. We're under a minute. <laughs> Fourteen ball is on. This is oh oh wow. wow that's tough. He's gonna have to drop oh, it. He's gonna have wow. to drop it. Drop it in. Made the ball. Does the nine ball have a pocket? It does. It does. Here we go. He's we taking go. the time on this shot, which is Here good. Here we go. This is what makes this format so exciting to watch. This is a huge shot right here. Wow, he's on the rail as well. This is huge this is shot. 30 seconds left. He's, got him, he's given himself a chance. That's all he needed to do. Give That's himself right. a chance. Now put everything into the break because you're not going to get a chance that to clear eight ball. it. That's what you need to do here. <laughs> he may make the eight ball and then make it again on the break. Very We're nice. going to be around 15 seconds. I'll get an actual time. Okay. It's 5-4. Tyler breaking. Looking for the eight ball to go flying. Nope. Nope. It didn't get touched at all. And that's not going anywhere. Did not go. Our time is up. He's going to concede. What a match there. Tyler Steyer and Ricky Evans. Ricky playing absolutely great. And Tyler attempting the comeback. Wow. A huge match with ups and downs.